it's time for reviews, but no kitty bag of doom today. Something a little bit different. Hi, this is Deborah, also known as Doomage42, and welcome back to my channel. Today we've got Tuesday reviews. Only really gonna be reviewing one thing today, and that is the salon where I'm so happy that I got my hair did as they say in the South for some reason, uh, many different colors, which I absolutely love. Fabulous experience, wonderful artists. And yes, they're not just hairstylists or whatever, they truly are artists because these folks work wonders with hair dye and bleach and cutting and all kinds of stuff. And that is to dye for salon, D-Y-E, you know, dye in the hair. Clever pun, very cute. They're in Greenville, South Carolina on Wade Hampton Road. If you're nowhere near Greenville, I will uh, give you some clues on how to find a good salon for yourself as well. But let me tell you, Gina did such an awesome job. I left there freaking giddy, okay? I got my hair done, uh, it's been almost a month. It was the last week of March. And no, I don't blow dry it straight like she did that day, you know, to really show it off. But I've been so happy with it. And everybody is like, oh my God, I love your hair. And I'm like, yes, I do too. Thank you so much. The experience there was awesome. It's in a neat building. The building itself used to be like a transmission shop or something. So it's got a lot of really big windows, very high ceilings, open air. Um, the people that work there are fabulous, fun to talk to, really great at everything that they do and they want to make you happy. When I went in and talked to Gina, I went in for a consult first. If somebody's gonna come in and get some serious color done, she would like to have a consultation first so she kind of knows what to do, what to expect and how much time it's gonna take. And she was interested in what I wanted to, to do. And of course, if anybody follows me on Pinterest, uh, link below, I've been painting a lot of hair things with colors and stuff. So I was like, kind of this and maybe this and, you know, I don't know if my hair will do it, but I like this. And she looked at my hair and we talked about it and decided that we couldn't go in with the lighter colors that I wanted because I've been using box color for a long time and that stuff is hard to lift out. But I told her, I said, you picked colors that I like and she asked me what I thought of certain colors. And I said, you're the artist, do it. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the process. And it is a process. You gotta plan on spending some time. I was posting pictures from there and stuff because it does take a while. But the entire experience was so great. The ladies and gentlemen at, you know, To Die For Salon really deserve you to give them a check out if you're close enough to get by there. Now, you're not in Greenville necessarily or even in the surrounding areas. How do you find a really good salon with a really good colorist? Do what I do. Check Instagram, check Facebook. And I will link to To Die For's pages because they post a lot of their work with you know customer's permission, of course. They post the work that they've done and you get to see what kind of work they're doing. I already knew that Gina did fabulous color work before I even spoke to her because she has a lot of her stuff on Instagram and on their webpage and on their Facebook. So do their other stylists. So you kind of get a feel for what they can do and I think what they enjoy doing as well. Yes, they just do haircuts and stuff too, sure. But let them let their artistry loose. It's so much fun. Yes, check your local Yelp. You can look for salons on Yelp and I think on yellowpages.com too. Read the reviews. Take them with a little grain of salt because sometimes people just get all aggravated about really stupid crap and will leave bad reviews about something that really doesn't make any sense. But read through all the reviews and kind of make a summary judgment about that. Go see the place. Talk to the people. If they don't want to take their time to talk to you, they're probably not going to be very good or very good to deal with. But Everybody should be able to play with their hair if they really want to. Not everybody wants to. I have always been a very colorful kind of person and for years I've wanted to do something like this. And I don't think, like I told Gina, I don't think that I could go back to having boring hair anymore. That's just me, says the girl in the bright pink dress with the bright pink lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> 
What do you like to do for you? Do you have any places to recommend? Any hairstyling places, salons, nail places? I need to get my nails done, people. Hello. Um, I love to kind of go and do stuff for myself now. For years, I didn't. So this whole going to the salon and going to do nails and going to buy clothes is still relatively new to me in the grand scheme of things. But yes, find yourself a salon or if you're close enough, if you're within 100 miles or 150 miles, go see Gina at To Die For Salon. I don't think she needs the extra clientele, but I don't care. She's wonderful. And so are her coworkers. I'm just saying. Really. That's been Tuesday Reviews. Please uh, click mm, over here for some more reviews. Click down here to subscribe, please, if you haven't already. Also, please drop me a like or a comment or a dislike or whatever before you go. See ya.